Hi everyone, my name is Megan Neckerbecki, founder of Healthcare Transformation. On today's episode of Healthcare for the People, we are going to talk about insurance risk pools. Health insurance risk pools are indirectly related to you because it is one of the reasons that healthcare in the US is so expensive. So stick with me here. A risk pool is a group of people. The best types of insurance risk pools are very large groups of people. And the reason for this is to diversify the risk pool to contain people who are very low risk and won't use much health care, who can then financially subsidize the high risk people who are utilizing a lot of health care. Let's say, for example, that between myself and my employer, we are putting about $5,000 per year towards my healthcare premiums. But I'm a healthy, low-risk adult who is not coming close to spending $5,000 a year in healthcare costs. But now let's look at my pretend coworker, Bob. Let's say Bob is 60 years old and is an overweight smoker who is now dealing with hypertension and diabetes. Bob is seeing his PCP and specialists on a regular basis, and if Bob doesn't take good care of himself, he might have a hospitalization or a few emergency room visits. A patient like Bob could easily spend thousands of dollars a year in medical bills compared to a young, healthy adult like myself. Now you can see why a low-risk individual like me needs to be in the risk pool to subsidize a high-risk individual like Bob. Now where it becomes tricky in the US is that we don't have one big risk pool. We have thousands of little risk pools, each risk pool being a different health insurance provider. And what's the problem with thousands of little risk pools? Well, imagine if my risk pool or insurance company has only one Megan and nine Bobs, but then the risk pool next to me has nine Megans and one Bob. Which insurance company is going to increase their premiums, putting more cost sharing on the Megans and Bobs or risk going bankrupt. The one with the nine bobs, of course. This is why insurance companies spend a lot of time and money marketing to healthy people and trying to keep high risk people out of their risk pool. Otherwise, if they enter a market that is too risky, in other words, they're at risk of getting a lot of bobs in their pool, then they pull out of the market. Now, what does this mean in the US? It means we take what could be a risk pool of 300 million people with plenty of Megans to subsidize the Bobs and we split it into let's say a thousand different insurance companies or risk pools. If we remove the 30 million who aren't even insured at all, then we have about 270,000 people per risk pool. Now obviously this varies from big insurers to small insurers, but stick with me. Now, with a risk pool of only 270,000, the ratio of Bob's to Megan's has a much bigger impact than if we had a risk pool in the millions. Then you change the cost sharing and benefits for each of the plans and just imagine the confusion for patients and the administrative nightmare for many of the doctors who are trying to treat these patients and ensure they will still be reimbursed for their services. This is a difficult topic to teach, so I would love your feedback on what may be confusing. Check out my blog at caretransformation.net for more information, and I look forward to continuing to simplify this concept.